Yep, we're live now. All right. Hello. Hello. Did it go live? Did it? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I, I, I figured out how to watch it again, but you have to download it and I can't be bothered. So. Oh. Hello. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Happy first day of spring or second day of spring or is it? Yeah, spring was yesterday at eight o'clock or I don't know, something really? like that. Yeah. And so of course okay. it's raining here again, you know, because as soon as we go into spring, we get rain. I feel like I'm really over today. Yeah, we have some. Okay, good. <laughs> it's always good that Savannah checks. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Kelly with Kelly's B Boutique and this is my sidekick Savannah. That's me. That's it. That's her. <laughs> and uh we are crazy right now. We're doing so many things. I feel like my brain is kind of like Kind of like gears are moving and ideas are flowing and it's we've got some exciting things coming up. Yeah, so we're, we're going to talk about them. Too. Yeah, so we've been like spinning for the last two days because it's been very quiet on the order front. So we, uh, we're we always thinking. We're always thinking of the next best thing, right? Hey, Susan and Flora and Diane and Karen from the PNW. Yeah, Pacific oh, Pacific North Northwest. Northwest. That's right. Yeah, you got rain today too? It was so nice yesterday. Like we have two big garage doors here, big bay doors. And we had one open, and it was so nice. The girls were enjoying it. Like, it wasn't super warm, but it was just nice to oh, get Oh, you opened the garage? Yeah, the, one, the, the other one by the door. Mm -hmm. We had it open all day, and then Henley, our dog, was going in and out. It's and, muddy in here now. Yeah, we <laughs> have, a, like, a little swamp next to us because it's, you know, we need to do some stuff. And um, she decided that she was going to lay in it and carry all the mud in. And I was like, oh, my goodness. There's so much mud in here now, and I'm just... And we have no water down here because we don't have, uh, we have no water. <laughs> so we're going to have to just wheel down a bucket of water and all those things. So mm -hmm. yeah. no rain no, It yet. was nice this past weekend. Oh, I wore shorts. Me too. It was wonderful. It was nice. I wore my overalls actually. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you've watched our shorts, you know that. You know I love my overalls. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need a new pair this year though, but I kind of want some like hot pink ones. Do you? Yeah, why not? The overalls are probably too big on you now. They are. Yeah. But I still am going to wear them. Yeah. They might be my working in the yard. Oh, yeah. Overalls, because then my butt crack won't hang out. <laughs> it's kind of like the, I wear, like, I look uh, I look all good from this part up, and then the bottom I have on a pair of, of these stretchy things. They're kind of like, like a long, like capri yeah. short kind of thing that I've been wearing. But they are literally about five sizes too big, and so I cinch them up. So, and then I forget that I've cinched them up. And so when I go whipping up, because we don't have a washroom down here, so I'll go running up there to use the washroom. And I'm almost like having to go and I'm like, oh no, I have to get that undone, but they fall off. But I have no clothes and I keep trying to find them and I can't find them. So, you know, I'm just going to wait. Because, um, so exciting news. Uh, I'm going to have to buy some clothes. I just had like some, a hair fall on my face here or something. Um, I'm going to have to buy some clothes in two months because our manifestation of last week came true. I am going to the Czech Republic. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited. So my friend Mary, who owns a bead store in Eureka, California, we went together about, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, and we're going back. So we're leaving uh, at the end of May, and we're going to be there for a couple of weeks. Uh, we're actually flying into Frankfurt because it was so expensive to fly into Prague. Um, it just was one of those things. I just said, you know, let's do something different. So we, she found the flights to um, Frankfurt. And our two flights sort of coordinate by about two hours, which is good. Perfect. So um, she's going to meet me there and we're going to tootle around and try and find some old German beads if possible. Um, when you say like old German beads, like like they're actually old or they really yeah. look old? No, they're old. They would have been done like, like uh, maybe pre-war, wartime. And um, why do they have an abundance of those? They don't. Oh, so they're, why do you want those? Because they're rare. They're hard to find. Oh. So okay. we're going to look around and see if we can um, find some of those. You know, chances are we won't find any because they're really hard to find now. And a lot of them got transported over to Austria. We may go to Austria. Um, but we're going to spend a couple of days in Germany. And, and then um, one of the big suppliers that we see is kind of on the, like, it's kind of, it's kind of like a Y. We have uh, the Czech Republic, Germany, and then Poland. And uh, our one supplier is kind of like in the middle of the Y kind of thing. So we're, we'll make our way over to see him. And then we'll go back to Yablonic, hang around there for a couple of days, seeing all of the people that we see when we go there. And then, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try and convince her to go to France. But I'm doing all the driving. Don't go to France. 
Well, I, I, I want to go to the, the bead bazaars there. They have old beads in, oh, in cool. France. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're only there for two weeks, so we'll see what happens. Are, we going, um, are you going to do a special bag care now? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Probably not because I don't know what I'm going to find. Um, I may do a live sale. Mary was talking about doing a, a live sale. Um, so we will see. You know, it's going to be one of those things Up that uh, I did lots of lives on the last time I went. And uh, so maybe we'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm excited. So um, so today, stay, stick around to the end because not only do I have a fun project that I will speak about as I'm putting it together, but uh, we're going to be doing some giveaways today because we haven't done giveaways for a while, so long. right? So we're going to do some giveaways. Mm -hmm. We're going to um, do a giveaway for something we're going to ask of you, which is going to be fun because you this guys. This is are... the like this is one of the things where we yeah are this training. is this is really a, the exciting thing. So um, do you have anything else to chat about? No, nothing. It's, uh, it's spring break. So it's spring break. I have my um, best friend and her husband and her four daughters are staying with us. It's and they well, have a now, smaller home now. There's only two of them that it's like they come and go because they're going to their friends' houses because they just moved away. But it is like it's crazy at our house. Um, but Grace loves it. She's yeah. having a good time, and the the girls are so helpful. Yeah, I think my house is probably cleaner now than it's ever been because they're small. <laughs> And it's like, go clean the kitchen. And I'm like, that's a lot of people in that small place because they, they have a bigger house, but they also rent out a suite in the basement. So they only have the upstairs and one small room downstairs that they utilize. So it's not a lot of living space, plus a big Bernese mountain dog and a, a, beagle. a beagle and a young little one. Yeah. And, you know, so but it, it's been good. It's yeah. been fun and it's nice to see them. And yeah. But it's that's good. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard having people around, so. We do so many dishes right now. I, I can't I, even imagine. We normally run the dishwasher maybe, maybe once a day. Right now we're running it like four times a day. Oh my God. Well, that's like nine people in your house. Yeah. That's crazy. No, thank you. And Grace likes to get a new cup every time she needs a drink. Mm. I mean, I do that sometimes. <laughs> she learned it from me. Huh? But like, <laughs> she needs to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like now getting into using reusable cups now. So. Yeah. I'm tired of you. I bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. So we have been um, busy behind the scenes here doing a million things. Uh, we put some leather ends on uh, on our clearance page. Um, if you're ever wanting to get notified, if you go, when something is sold out, you can actually go to, you can't really do a screen thing, can you? Uh, I don't worry try. about it. Um, it's all right. Um, okay. There's a place where it says notify me when they're back in stock and people get notifications. So um, I put some pearls on yesterday that we had been out of stock on. Uh, now, but the weird thing is it sent the wrong price to everybody. So um, I'm sorry for that. It sent them a $9.99 price when they're actually $12.99. So I apologize. I don't know what happened. Does so. the listing say it's $12.99? Yeah, it does. So okay. there was a glitch in the matrix. We've been having a lot of that kind of stuff happen lately where we're like, what's going on? Some weird... I swear there's a ghost in here because you know how the door was beeping? When you left, there was weird noises in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, so a little I'm like scared. Lori put Lori put through an order the other day where she shouldn't have been charged at all, and it charged her a full order price. Like it was crazy, I, it, and nobody can explain it. So it's that ghost. Yeah. Well, don't say that. Then nobody will buy beads because they'll think it's haunted in here. He's friendly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So we've got um, we've got leather ends. I think I think a couple people have grabbed them, but there's still like eight, nine, ten, something like that left. And so what we do, when we cut a lot of leather here because we sell a ton of leather. So when we have a piece larger than about 12 inches, sometimes there's like three feet. We'll throw it in a bag and then Lori just makes up, um, we weigh them. And so everybody's getting at least whatever or the weight is that we put on the listing. And you'll get like vegan suede and, you know, leather and all kinds of things in there. So um, they're great for... You know, all sorts of different things. And they and it, and they don't get short pieces. No, we never give little tiny short pieces. We're going to give you, I think, at least a, a eleven or twelve inches, so you can make a um, you can make a bracelet with it or a clasp or you know add things to it. So they're we're not like sending like a little little nub like that. So, uh, Lanny, we do not have rhinestone leather anymore. No, um, no, we don't carry that any longer. Mm -hmm. um, also, Actually, leading in, we should talk about. The now or never. Yes, I was just going okay, to. So we're, we've also created a new page on the website. When you go to the drop down menu and it has all the list of everything, so it'll be the top one that'll say now or never. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer story. With with the um, uh, uh, 
a lot of closures of businesses like um, Tierra Cast and a whole lot of other um, people that aren't supplying anymore. It's getting very, very hard for me to get some of the beads that I want and some of the findings that I want. So we've had to go through all of our kits. Now we've just started and we've gone through, we went through all of the earrings and we started on the necklaces yesterday and we're having to remove a whole lot of our kits, unfortunately, because I can't replicate them. And then people place orders and we're having to do substitutions, which we don't like doing. And you know, because if you buy something, you want, we want to make sure that they're getting what they purchased. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so what we did instead is we, we made up what we could. So on one, we did like 28 of them, but once those 28 are gone, then they're, they're gone. And some of them, there's only one, um, or two. So we've moved those, anything where there's a limited amount of, we put them on the now or never. So, you know, if it's in, the, if it's in there and you've ever wanted it, um, to grab it. Now we just, I just put it on there. So there's only like maybe 12 items on there. I haven't had time to move a lot of stuff over there. Um, so keep watching as time goes by, there will be lots and lots of things that get added to that. But, um, that's a good place to see like, Oh, I've re I remember when she did that video and I really like those and Oh goodness, there's only one strand left. So if you check our now and now or never, it's not a sale or anything. It's just where, um, just, you know, that it's probably not going to come back. Yeah. And once, yeah, once it's uh, in there, it won't be something that I'm um, bringing back. So kits, especially, especially Strands, kits. maybe no, 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 no. I'm, okay. I'm having to like really narrow down what I order. I just placed an order yesterday with my, um, company, uh, in China that I order from <sighs> my goodness. We got some really good deals in Tucson. That's all I can say. Those are good deals. Yes. Some of them. Wow. Yes. You know, those eight millimeter faceted, um, cubes mm -hmm. that we half stranded and everybody was buying. I asked my supplier if I could get more of those and the prices were double what we paid in Tucson. And I was like, well, I'm not buying those. That's criminal. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's getting super frustrating. So I'm limiting some things and just waiting for good deals or, you know, that kind of stuff. So trying to figure out how, how to, you know, make this whole business Move work. Forward, yeah. Yeah. Now I, I alluded to something yesterday on social media. I put up a spring cleaning, um, post and said that we're utilizing this quiet time because like I said, there's not many orders coming in right now. We're utilizing this time to, uh, put it to good use. And so I came up with an idea yesterday and then I ran it past Savannah today and she loved it, but she actually came up with a better way of doing it. And so this is what we're going to do. It's so fun. I think you guys are going to love this. I really do. It's going to be an ongoing thing. It won't be a one-time thing. We're okay. being, we're being very careful because of uh, budgets. We know that everybody is, um, Tight. having to be mindful of their money. And we had a few people last time when we did mystery boxes, people were like, Oh, I really wanted to join in, but I don't have an extra 25 or I don't have an extra $50. So that's why we're going to be doing what we're doing. Now, what were you going to say? Can, can I say what I think it's going to be like? Yeah, you go ahead. So basically, I'm going to explain the whole thing. Are you good with that? You, you explain. So we have um, different price range boxes ranging from a dollar to above $6. Above six. Yeah. And it's a choose your own adventure mystery box. So there is no limit on how much or how little you spend. So you could say, I would like for $1 items, six $4 items, and two $6 items, whatever, or you want one $1 item. But basically, um, it's a mystery box that you choose the denomination that it's gonna be. Yeah, and so we're, we're, we're just scouring the, the warehouse because we had, we had a lot of stuff in boxes. It's hard to hear you. Hmm. Uh, Is everyone having trouble hearing us? We're up as high as we can go. That's weird. Are we, I wonder if, I, is everybody else having a hard time hearing us? Cause we're like, we're right next to Mike here. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, sorry about that. If you can't hear us, I don't understand why we got this new mic and I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, so we're thinking that like, it'd be a really fun experience. Like we've got, um, yeah, it says we're quiet. So that we're but half the people say they hear us fine. Okay. So it must be on, on, I don't know. I'm sorry. You know, does it, it help if we talk like this? <laughs> because we're actually sitting up because yeah. we had somebody ni very nicely tell us that not mm -hmm. in a rude way, which was, we really appreciated that when we sit back, you can't hear. So we're actually yeah, sitting see, everyone's closer. Everyone's saying the sound is fine. So, but yeah. Okay. Well, I guess, you know, maybe on your device, you might have to turn it up louder. I apologize. We, we do our best to try to, um, 
I, I don't know. I thought it was quiet on our end too when I was listening to it, um, but I don't know. We'd have to do a little bit of research on this uh, Nano. I yeah. I wonder if I turn it up on here. How do I turn up my volume on here? You press this button. This one? Yeah. Is it up all the way? Yeah. Okay. Did that change anything? Is that any better? I don't know. Oh, she Catherine's looking for her earplugs. <laughs> Oh, now I now I can hear myself echoing now that I turned that up. Oh well. Oh well. Look. Okay. <laughs> let's let's hope it's okay. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, back to our new little thing. So it's not live yet, but it will be live in the coming weeks. We're hoping to have it ready by next week. Uh, so what we what we're gonna do is we we've we've got boxes and boxes of stuff where. It's not making me any money because it's just sitting in a box and so we're making up little bags and it's like well this bag's worth a dollar but they're probably actually worth like three or four dollars but we're just like that goes in the dollar bin this goes in the two dollar bin this goes in the three dollar bin so we've got bins just full of all of these little things and so you'll be able to create your own sort of mystery box like yeah. mystery bead adventure whatever we're going to call it yeah it's like one of those books where you get to choose which way you go yeah so the one dollar bins have a lot of variety Tons of variety. Yeah, and so do the two dollar bins. Yeah. Like that's probably where you'll get the most variety. Mm -hmm. when, and then we've got lots in the threes and fours. But once you start getting up to the fives and the sixes, we're having limited. So we'll pr probably have to count up what we have and then put limits on that people can yeah. buy. Like um, we, we'll always be able to come up with the smaller ones. So um, I hope that you guys like that. And if you do, we're going to ask something of you. So if everybody can put their thinking cap on during this live um and tell us what you think we should call it like we were going to call it something like i don't know like the uh, custom ch choose your own box or choose, choose your, your own, own adventure. bead adventure or something like that but if you yeah to create your own mr box so oh hey jennifer um so if you guys can think of something like a really fun name for it what if the name if we pick a name from we're going to go through all the comments and if we pick a name we're going to send you a gift because uh, we were like racking our brain going, okay, what should we call this? Like choose your own bead adventure. Um, I mean, it's not just going to be beads. There's going to be findings. There's, we've got chain, we've got cording, we've got leather, we've got all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah. So um, yeah, Maureen, I've got, why did that make a difference? I, I turned up the, um, but it doesn't have like the volume doesn't, it doesn't have an end on it. Mm -hmm. Like it's it just, just has, a, it's just to do with headset volume. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll just about me boxes. What about me boxes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys come up with some, um, just fire out some names and we'll look at them later and then we will uh, let whoever, we'll contact, you. we'll contact you and let you know if yeah. you won something. So uh, we just, we hope you like this. We're just trying to make it so that everybody can afford to yeah. join in on some of the BD uh, fun things. It's a good way of uh, building your stash. If you place a regular order for something like let's say you're ordering some leather for a project and then uh, you go oh gosh yeah she's got those fun little mystery things you can throw a two dollar thing on there and just to see what you get yeah. for two bucks yeah right? there's a so creative creativity a la carte oh i like that that's funny <laughs> that's fun so yeah. yeah we may we may combine something that we see on here so magical, magical mystery, mystery tour <laughs> yeah these are great yeah so thank you for putting that out we appreciate a little bit of help because you know sometimes we're like trying to think of all the things and you yeah. get kind of stuck on something and and that's kind of what happened today so yeah i think it's i think it's fun and i really like that everyone's um able to join in on it yeah because i know like even for me when i'm going to buy the beads i'm having heart failure when i'm going to pay for them i'm like this is just insanity now mm -hmm. and so i worry about people that enjoy a, a hobby or or they're trying to you know have a little side hustle and a business and they can't because the it's crazy right now everything's just so expensive so we want to try to um you know lessen the load a little bit the mystery menu box Ooh, jennifer's on fire today <laughs> okay all right so now also this week if you want to fire up the um little thing we are having another sale we know you guys love our sales um uh, thanks for buying all of our fire polish everybody we we got cleaned out like if you saw the wall oh my gosh it is one, one woman she had fun yeah she yeah. she she placed about six orders i think five orders and the last of them went out today oh boy we have hardly any fire polish it is really really um depleted out there but you know i will buy more and i will definitely buy more in uh when i go to the czech republic but um, so right now we're going to have all of our 15, all of our chain on 15% off. Use the code 
chain 15 and it's valid from today until uh, Sunday at midnight. And we're actually gonna show you some of our chain today because that's one of the things that we wanna do on, um, on uh, Wednesdays is show you things up sort of close and personal so you can see what they look like. So we're going to show you some of our favorite chains so you can get a better um, things. I just saw something. names are great. Feed me up box. Are Mystery you? Dollarama. <laughs> Mystery Dollarama, that's good. These are great. Uh, in the States, they don't have Dollarama. It's a dollar store. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yes, that is. Yeah, they don't have that. Yeah, the uh, Dollar Tree. They have uh, Bead General. The Bead General. <laughs> yeah, we might get sued though. Yeah. Kelly's kaleidoscope. See, see, these are cute. And yeah, we'll read through great. all of them. And um, yeah. yeah. I'll try to not focus on them. Now. Yeah. Good. All right. So we're going to um, put the camera down and we're going to show you some of the chain. And then um, we're going to show you some new product. And then we're going to do a giveaway, probably. And then we're going to do a really fun little project that um, it's, cute. it's going to be super cute. At least I hope it is. So mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Put you down. Yeah. Put me down. <clears throat> and not in a bad way yeah. like put me down oh you suck you know <laughs> oh see i like went to like a veterinary like what do you do oh <laughs> <laughs> things got dark <laughs> all right so um you will be getting an email uh and savannah explains about all of our chain in the email uh but basically our chain comes from one wonderful factory and it is the best chain that you can buy it is uh Electroplated metals over brass, which makes it naturally hypoallergenic. There's no lead, no cadmium, and no nickel in them. So because of the way that they make these, um, most people that are reactive don't even react to them. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that you might react, but we hardly ever in all the years that we were, have been selling this chain, which has been for a very long time, have we ever had people complain about it. And it um, doesn't tarnish. Um, we have had it out on the, the floor for years. Some of them are old and they don't tarnish. So um, I just want to show you some of these. So this is our uh, CH350 and this is our the gold the uh, gold plated. So this is a, um, we have a tiny little Rolo and then we have this Rolo, which is, uh, I can't remember if this is like the 3.5 millimeter. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is CH350. And then this is another larger roller, roller, <laughs> Rolo chain, and this is CH823. So you can see there's a couple different. Um, 3.5. So yeah, this is the 3.5, but there's a little baby one that's two millimeters. This one is about a seven meter millimeter, and then we have CH5, which is a the jumbo one. So we have okay. we have four different sizes of Rolo chain. So this is the regular gold. Um, plating if you're trying to figure out what color um, a good length to buy it depends on what you're creating pat um, most necklaces um, would be you know somewhere around the 16 to 18 i generally used to make mine about 17 with a a two inch um, extender on the back of it so um, it depends on what you're making a bracelet uh, it depends on what you're making so it's you, nice that you can buy it per inch too yeah <laughs> yeah so now that is our gold finish this is our, it's called um, Hamilton Gold. So you can see it's got not quite so much brightness to it. It's got more of a matte kind of. It looks um, like smooth. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's very matte and very, it looks it's like silky almost. Yeah. 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 Um, and so these are our two beading chains. So this is the 2350 that I don't have a bead here. Um, isn't that funny that I don't have a bead? Let's see, is there one in here? I don't even have a bead. Um, oh, is there one there? No. You have this. Oh, you can just... Is that a bead? <laughs> and I have can the... we cut that out? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so these are beading chains. So you can actually put this chain right through um, the beads, which is really nice. So this is the 2350, which is the little one. And you can actually get that through. Oh, here's a bead. This is one of the um, those clovers that I had last week. And these have got small holes. And you see you can get that right through there. That's cute. Which is kind of fun so uh that's the smaller one and then we have the bigger one which is ch874 now we have these in all the different colors we're just wanting to um, show you some of the colors today this one is a little bit larger it may not go through this um it, i don't think it good it's not meant to go through that one um, um sorry they're wondering if you can just hold it in your hand just like a single length of it oh just to see 
Is that what you guys mean? What do you mean? What it? Could you hold single, single length? length well, it doesn't come in a length. Like it, they're cut to measure. So whatever you want. If you want three feet, we cut three feet. If you want, you know, they're all by the. It's by the inch. So whatever, whatever you want, right? So like this is, you know, like that's twelve inches. That's that's like twelve inches right there, which is not enough for a necklace. But you could attach it to something and make it enough for a necklace. So, you know, like you can always keep your little end pieces. Mm -hmm. But this one is really great when you're using those um, adjustable uh, silicone uh, cord ends, that, not cord ends, but like clasps that we have. You can put two lengths of this and um, you just put like we have little uh, end things that you put on there. I mean, I'd have to go more into depth what you can do with all of these chains. But um, these are very, very popular um, chains. We sell a lot of these uh, bead sort of you beading mean chains. Silicone sliders, not yeah, clasps. The, the silicone slide. They're actually a clasp. They're silicone oh, okay. sliding clasps is what they are. Yeah. And then we also have um, antique <coughs> pardon me, antique copper. Oh, I need a sip of water here. Mm. Okay. While well, you do that, I'm gonna hold this up. As I'm choking here. <coughs> so that's our antique copper. And this is CH28. So this is a really lovely textured chain. Um, I don't know if you can bring that one up to see what it what the measurements are on it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm I've got a really bad. Um, What's the code again? CH twenty eight. You have a really bad what? Um, shadowing. Yeah. Yes, it is hard to see. Sorry, it's like there isn't any good way of showing chain because you know, like there. That's probably yeah. better. So this is a six by nine textured oval cable chain. Is that better? Can you see that one? So yeah. So this is our antique copper. So again, all of these chains come in all the different colors. Not every chain, but most of them we have all uh, full range of the um, colors. We wanted to just sort of show you some of the other ones. Now this is a, one of uh, like a sleeper, one that nobody ever orders. I didn't and, even know we had it. And I love this one. So this is our CH802. Can you bring that up? It's actually got, it's a, it's like a Rolo chain, CH802, but it's, um, it's a bicycle box chain. So it's a three by eight by 5.5 millimeter box chain. So I've used this in wrap bracelets uh, where you're weaving um, leather in and out of it. It's a very cool chain. Try putting your hand under it. Just, yeah, there you go. You can see much better when you do it that way. Yeah. It look, It definitely looks like a bike. It looks chain. like bicycle chain. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like, you know, the old fashioned that went around like the they still they're not really old fashioned. Oh, they still does it still do that? Well, I don't I don't bike? know. Like, <laughs> we just got rid of our bikes. I don't even know how they work anymore. Anyway, <laughs> nobody ever orders this. So um, I wanted to make sure that I show I showed this one today. So this is our CH802. And we have this one available in four different colors. And um, it's it's very lovely. So five colors. Five colors? Yeah. Okay, there you go. I just don't have all the pictures there. Mm -hmm. So okay. And then, so that's the antique silver color. And then we have antique brass or antique bronze. Depends on the day what I call it. Well, this one is, um, this one is CH825. So it's a little teeny tiny. It's going to be really hard to see. That's a little teeny tiny, uh, like an oval cable chain. It's very, very small. But if you want something that's really delicate, this is the perfect chain. So that one is our CH825. And then we also Do you use have that one for connector chains ever? Is that no, it needs to use? be a little bit larger. So okay. I would use maybe this one as a as a like a an extender chain. Is that what you mean? Like an extender chain? Yeah. Yeah. Or like you, when you make a bracelet and then you have the little just in case. I would use um I'll the, the 859, like that one or this one. Okay. Um because you need to be able to get uh, your clasp through it. So something like right. this is good because it's got um, a little bit bigger. This one is our CH260. So you can see that this one has um, differing lengths on it. Uh, we've got like a little, it's got like a little loop and then the larger oval loop. Um, so it's kind of nice because when you cut this, you're not gonna lose like the, a whole big piece of it. You're just gonna lose one little link there. So um, that one is one of our more popular. Yes, I will do one at some point, Karen. I, um, I have a project that I can do with that. Uh, a bicycle chain I just you know I actually have to do it so <laughs> hello Lori from New Hampshire 
You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, dumb. Where is New Hampshire? What is that? Is that up in the, it's in is it, is it in, in, around Boston? Okay. Massachusetts. Is it? Mm -hmm. I just went to school right there. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. All right. I do mean safety chain. Safety chain? <laughs> That's the one. The okay. Safe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is our CH910. And this is like a, an oval Rolo. So and this is one of the smaller ones. We have two sizes like this. I can't remember what the other one was called, but there's a small, the small one and then the larger one. So this is in the, um, this is the, bra you know, what do they call this? Black oxide or something yeah. like that. So that is CH910. So just so you can see the different, you know, they're right above Massachusetts. Okay. And then this has been a perennial favorite over the years. This is our CH848. And this is, I think it's a, is that a three millimeter or four millimeter um, rhinestone cup chain. And I've used that in lots of projects over the years. And we have that available in about four or five different colors, I believe. Um, yeah. So this is really nice because there's a nice little um, area in between and you can macrame in between. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with that. So and you also have the little... We have the ends. I just ends. ordered them. So the silver, um, we have these little ends that you can clamp on so that you can use it like an actual chain. Uh, but they've been out of stock for years and I managed to just grab 300 of them. So I have to uh, place another chain order too. Um, <laughs> but um, I did manage, I've got them in all the other colors. That's the last one. Um, is that the last one? Well, we have many more on the website. Oh, we've got. the last one we're showing. We've got hundreds. Uh, so we just can't show them all, but we wanted to show you uh, a little bit of them. So this is our CH859, which is a really beautiful, it's a little bit heavier looking, but not too heavy. Like this is something that I like to use for necklaces because it's just a nice weight. I'm also gonna be using another one for the project today. Um, I can't remember what we used, 826 or something uh, like that. No, what, what was... Or 802, 803. 805. 805? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, it was 803 or something like that. 803. Uh, no, that wasn't 816. Anyway, <laughs> here's another one. This is the silver color. And you can see how beautiful and bright they are. They are a really good chain. So if you ever wanted to buy chain, these are a little bit more expensive than what you're going to get um, for crappy chain. Um, but um, it's worth it because they don't um, do all kinds of nasty things to your to your body. And there's no bad stuff in them so with chain you get what you pay for and i don't think they're that expensive to begin with they're really good quality so and then i'm going to be using um today this is another great um chain i'm going to be using this ch806 which is a nice chunky chain and i will be showing you what i'll do with that a little bit later okay i need to have a short slurp and savannah's gonna mm -hmm. start hauling out what um we're showing you today yeah lots of fun yeah. Um, oh, okay. There's a bunch of people that we sent emails to. Remember Catherine last week, I called her out and said, Catherine, check your email. She did. And it was in her spam. So if you're watching this and I mean, there's some people that I, I mean, there was probably about 12 people that we sent emails to, um, that we need to get in touch with them and not a single person has gotten back to us. So check your spam folder. And, ch and see if there's anything from us in there because uh, some people might want to know what we're wanting to um, talk to you about. So um, I, I know it sounds a little cryptic, but... Also, we have so many store credits. <laughs> yes. Um, so if you haven't logged on in a while, log on and see if you have one because there's over 300 sitting on the website. Yeah, which means it'll automatically go in your cart when you check out if you've got a store credit. And there's people that have huge store credits. Catherine was one of them. Catherine, what did you have, like $46 or something like that as a store credit? So, um, <laughs> magnificent beating extravaganza. <laughs> That's a mouthful, Delina. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the first thing I have to show you today is, uh, maybe, oh, that'd be too hard. If I put them in here, it's going to clink. I've got some of our Ghana glass. Now, I didn't go crazy with the Ghana glass this year. I just bought what I really liked. So this is FFF255, and it's a 12 millimeter multi-green topaz Ghana glass bead. So they, they range about 12 millimeters in size. I don't know that. I think it could be my eyes, but the... It's a little shadowy. Yeah, it's very shadowy today. I don't know. I'm trying to get that to... I can't get it to 
not be shadowy. Anyway, so Ghana glass is beautiful because it's uh, recycled glass. It's all handmade. They're not meant to look perfect. They're, they're meant to look sort of rustic and organic. And they have nice big juicy holes in them that are about two and a half millimeters. So you can get a good size leather in there. So they're really great for um, knotted leather projects if you're going to be making uh, anything with barrel knots. These are fabulous. And I've used them in lots of different projects over the years. Now, unfortunately, they did go up in price. So we used to give you more and now we've had to now shrinkflation. <laughs> we've, we're good in the newer uh, ones. We kept them the same price, but instead of 15, I think we're down to like, what is that? 10, 10 um, or it was 12 and now they're 10. We've had to shrink it down a little bit because I didn't want to raise the price. So you'll get 10 of these beautiful beads for $3 and 25 cents. And this one is FFF255. Well, that's good. I'm glad you were able to use it, Catherine. I mean, I knew, I knew that you'd use it because, <laughs> you know, you have a bead hoarding problem like me. <laughs> oh, what size are the holes of these ones? Well, they're about 2.5 to 3 millimeter, but they're not always consistent because they're handmade. But they're at least 2 millimeter, so you can definitely get 2 millimeter leather in them. So I'll try and hold that up so you can see. Um, that doesn't show. Put it um, upright in the white container. Okay, like right there. And yeah. Hold it up and then we'll do it. Now you can see, we'll sort of. A little bit yeah so that's about a two and a half millimeter hole so these are a 10 to 12 millimeters so they're not all 10 they're not all 12 they sort of float around they can be a 10 or an 11 but you can see that these almost all look about the same size these are a beautiful multi-green blue Ghana glass um, and this is FFF 252 and I apologize if you can hear gurgling it is my insides today Told Kelly she sounds like a whale. I do. It's been the last 24 hours. My husband brought home sushi for dinner last night. Like we can't order in here very easily because there's nothing. So I had him pick it up on the way home and I couldn't even eat it. My insides are not having a happy day. So this is FFF252 and they're a beautiful multi-green blue green. Multi-green blue kind of glass. There we go. Try to get the old. I think Jennifer's going to like this next one. Yes, Jennifer, I thought about you when I bought these. <laughs> I know that one of my staff members already pounced on them too. Because there's not very many of these. So this is a um, this is FFF213. They're a 10 to 12 millimeter deep red glass, uh, Ghana glass bead for 325. It is like the nicest red. It is. It's such a beautiful, and I don't even know if it's showing up very well. No, it's not. I'm going to put them in my hand, see if that makes a difference. That is better. Is that better? Yeah. They're a beautiful, rich cherry red, and they're they're rich. They're just a really rich color, super super nice. Um, so FFF two one three, and they're about a ten to twelve millimeter. So they're a little bit larger, but they're just so juicy. I mean, I just love these things. So I've got a piece of leather. Do I have a piece of leather That's here? <laughs> yeah, it's cord. It was my yeah. I was gonna put my um, headphone through there, but that won't work. <laughs> they're they're just bigger bigger holes. I gotta move this. This is not working for me. Um, trying to get trying to get organized between mics and everything else around Words here. <laughs> All right, so here's FFF 260, and these are a 10 to 12 millimeter purple and white modeled uh, Ghana glass. I, I keep hearing an echo, and it is driving me I bonkers. I hear it too, and I'm not really sure where it's coming from. I think it's coming from the headphones, because this has to be on. So but I think I it's those down. yeah. I don't oh. know. Is that on that? It's probably from my computer. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I keep. It's very weird when you're talking and you can hear yourself talking. Is it going now? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I, it, yeah. Yeah. It was just like I could hear this reverberation in my brain, and it, you know, and I'm so triggered by yeah. noisy things, so it's very distracting. All right, back to the reg regular program here. Um, so this is FFF 260, and these are really cool. They're a beautiful mottled glass. So look at that. Just very unusual. And again, you'll get 10 of them for 325 FFF 260. <laughs> Diane's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, these next two are my favorite. I have never seen these colors when I've been shopping before, and I think they're absolutely beautiful. This is FFF 254, and I called it Soft Pumpkin. When we were shopping, you thought it would go well with the, with the peach 
peach. Yeah, I, I think it looks peach to me. It's sort of a peachy kind of pumpkin-y kind of color, but I just feel like it's really rich. It's not, you know. I feel like in the fall you can call it pumpkin, and in the spring you call it peach. Peach, yeah. Because it kind of is both. It's kind of both, but it's a beautiful color, and I do not like anything peach colored, but this was just beautiful. And peach is the color of the season from Pantone or whatever. So if you like that kind of tone, this would go really nice with um, with blues. It goes really nice with all kind. Of, like here's a sort of a blue green bead that I have got sitting beside it. Okay. You know, they look nice together. Not pr this particular width, but <laughs> you know. So that's FFF two five four. All right, how are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get coordinated. Now this was my personal favorite. I loved this. This is FFF253, and this is, I called it Burnt Sienna. It's like a really rich, caramely, I don't know, it's not showing Honestly, up. Honestly, it's not, yeah, that's way better. Is that better there? I don't know. It's, I just, we're so they're, shadowy they're today. They're showing almost red, but they're not. They're, yeah. My hands are pretty pale. <laughs> Maybe I can get, that's a little better. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're just a beautiful, rich, Burnt sienna mm -hmm. kind of color, like a dark, rich pumpkin. Yeah. I don't know, like a pumpkin spice. Yeah, they're really not showing up. Yeah, so that's FFF two five three. I feel like the pictures that um, Tessa takes are really representative of. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she's so talented. Yeah, she takes good pictures. Okay, so probably we should have had more of these. Really? Yeah. Um, oh shoot! I thought we just need one. Yeah. Can you, you make me get them? Yeah. If you could just hop out and grab just one one of them, just so I can show what I wanted to tell them about. Okay. So one of the things that I found were these beautiful um, top drilled teardrop beads. So that they they go the um, the hole goes across this way. I'm still hearing that. I am too. It's very weird. I no, I don't think so. I'm muted over there. But anyway, I'm going to try to ignore it as best I can. So the drill goes that way. So these look great on their own. You can do all kinds of things. They just have a regular hole. But if you want to grab me four more. Mm -hmm. So this is FFF249, and they're a 22 by 14 gray wood, and they're a top drilled teardrop. If you've been hanging around for a while, you may have seen me create um, one of my beaded flowers that would make the most beautiful beaded flower. So great for summer. You could take a, um, a wood bead in the middle, like there's some um, white wood, put one bead in the middle, like I can't really isolate one bead, but you put one in the middle, look at how cute that would be, just with one, one little bead or there. Or if you got your hands on one of those really cool strands that we got that has like jackfruit and stuff. Oh yeah. All of those. We don't have any of them left, though, right? The strands. I think there's some. Okay, because there's so many unique beads in there. Yeah, that would be really neat. You can too. make multiple different things. Yeah. So we got this in a um, couple different colors. So we have the FFF two four nine in the gray wood, mm -hmm. and then we have the FFF two four eight in the uh, rosewood. Do you want so? Um, well, sure. I'll take another four of them, and they can. That way, they. It, it, you know, you kind of get a, a better idea. Um, yeah, so I've always enjoyed making the beaded flowers, and I think I did one on here with the Mother of Pearl teardrops. Yeah, with the that, wire up. Yeah, and I even figured out, uh, Tessa showed me how to do something on, um, on uh, my uh, program on my Mac. So now when you look at the picture on the website, I've actually drawn a line across that shows you which way the hole goes. Because I'd never had that before and then people would send me an email saying, well, which way does the hole go? So now you actually can see it in the picture, which is great. So this is FFF249 and this is FFF248 and these are the 22 by 14. What's the matter? Oh, that's just a restart on the thing. No, no, no. People are commenting on Instagram, but they're not popping up on here. So hello, everyone on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We can see that people are on Instagram, but it doesn't come up on our um, on, on here. I'm not sure yeah. why. Very strange. So we're not ignoring you. We just don't. Uh... Hi, Eula, Eula's Jewelry. Maybe? Yeah. That's All right. So now we also got these in um, smaller ones. So maybe you can show me the. Do you want both? Yeah, we'll just do both. So. We've got these in tiny, so maybe grab me four more of the, or did you grab them? Um, so this is FFF247, 
Oh, yeah. FFF247 is the rosewood and FFF246 is the gray wood. So these would make the sweetest little flowers. Look at these. So I have to kind of maneuver these with my fingers. Now you'll see that not every one is the same size. You might get one that's a little different in size, but that's what makes it, you know, unique and organic. But there we go. Look at that. I don't, it's hard to see because it's so far away, but I'll try and do this one in here. So these top, top drill would make beautiful earrings too. I don't think it's going to, this has got like a bit of a concave thing. So maybe I'll do it like that. Um, or a convex, I guess it is, when it goes the other way. Now, if anybody's interested in buying any of these things and you're new to my channel, you just go to our website, you type that code in, and it will take you directly to the um, listing, and you can just place an order that way. So that's what it would look like with the um, rosewood one. I'm trying to get that so you can actually see, but, you know, it's hard trying to get those to... There we go. So super cute. All right, so those are some of the little... Um, wood things i absolutely loved the wood that we found some of them we'll some of them so yeah see. these are the uh, yeah sure we'll do both of them so we also managed to find these um 18 by 22 millimeter hearts so the white wood is fff 250 and the gray wood is fff 251 and i'm probably going to do a project coming up i was going to do it today but we wanted to show a different one today um, so you can see that these are just they're all handmade so they have a little bit bigger hole. You might be able to get one millimeter cording through there. I think you could, uh, but again, no guarantees because they're handmade. Each hole is going to be drilled a little differently, but um, these are so beautiful. So Debbie, you were notified two weeks in a row, which is great. Thank you. I'm glad that they did that because nobody ever gets notifications, right? Is there a link? We'll try and find the link. It was on a, um, I did a video years ago, so I'll try to link that. Um, if not, I'll try and find the live, and I will put it in the comment section here later on if I can. Okay. And then we've got two different uh, little magnesite turtles. So this is the uh, turquoise one, and here's the little off-white one. So this is FFF250, and this is FFF201. And these have a hole that go up and down that way, so you can just, you know, put it on a head pin and make it into... Uh, a little beaded, you know, like a little dangle or something like that. You know what? My parents just got back from a trip in Florida on a cruise and they bought my daughter a little anklet and they just macrameed with some cording. They had this little turtle in the middle and then just pink beads on either side. Really? It's the cutest, simplest little anklet. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And that's even, that's 1.5 millimeter leather and that actually fits. Now I'm not going to guarantee that each one would fit on leather. But it looks like um, some of these will um, mm -hmm. fit on the leather. Yeah. So there you go. You could actually do, you know, put that on a bracelet, do a barrel knot on either side, a little bead or something, and you've got a, a sweet little thing. Yeah. And they're they're forty cents a piece, so you can't beat that. My Super mom cute, said eh? she hates buying jewelry now when for me and my sister and my daughter when she goes away because she knows that I sit there and I stare at it and go, I could have made that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never would. I no, could've. you could have. <laughs> All right, so we have a few little um, metal things. We have these little leaf charms. This is FFF208, and they're a 28 millimeter by 12 millimeter antique silver leaf charm, and they're 50 cents. So just a nice little accent piece. You know, you can um, layer something over top of it, you know, dangle from a necklace. You could, um, you, could you know, a little bead just like, in front of it. you know, hang something in front of it, and you've got a super simple little piece. So that's FFF208. I'm trying to watch my time here today because... We've been blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we, we got a lot left to go. Yeah. Do we? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay, you guys, like, um, okay. hunker down. Savannah doesn't have, doesn't have to leave early today, so we're good. This is beautiful. Very limited in the quantity of these. This is FFF207, and they're a 28 by 24 millimeter hammered heart toggle. So you could do it separately and just, um, you know, use that as a, um, as, as a charm and then, you know, use this for something else. Um, and they're only $1.75, but they're a nice big size. They're 28 by 24. And I put the measurement of the bar in the description because a lot of times people want to know what size the bar is. But I thought the quality of those was pretty decent mm -hmm. for the price. And that's FFF207. Now, these are really fun. And I again, I've got to do a project with them. But I thought these were kind of cool because these would be great in a leather project. So I have to come up with something 
So this is FFF209 and they're a nine by seven millimeter rope style oval ring. So they're just in rope style just means like it's kind of twisted there. You sort of see that? And you get 10 in a package for a dollar. So they're 10 cents a piece, which is super affordable. And these would be really great over top of um, leather, you know, with barrel knots on either side. And if anybody's saying, well, what's a barrel knot? Make sure you check out my YouTube channel because I have tons of projects, thousands <laughs> of things using uh, barrel knots. That's kind of what I'm known for is my barrel knots. And all of the products shown today can be purchased at uh, kellysbeadboutique.com. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're going to get into some of our, our little things. So last week we did a bunch of our littles and this is the, the remainder of the littles. So this is FFF261 and these are a 13 by 7 millimeter crystal quartz moon shaped charm. And these have the rhodium plating. So hopefully that, sh does that show up pretty well? Yeah. Yeah. That looks great. So they're just a little charm and that's actual crystal quartz. And then they've got a, a plating over top with a little um, jump ring that's been soldered on. And these are only $3.99, so that's a really good deal. And what you see here is what you get. This is, we don't, we have very limited amounts of all of these. Savannah and I handpicked all of them, and uh, this is the best we could come up with. Some of them, um, there just wasn't that many, so, we, you know, we bought what we could of each style. So that's FFF261. And the next one we have is um, FFF262, and these are a similar... Uh, but in amazonite. So this is like the Russian amazonite. And this also has the rhodium plating. It was really hard trying to find anything with the rhodium plating. Almost everything has gold. So only a few of them have the silver on there. But <laughs> Thanks, Diane. <laughs> I've got a crown back here to prove it too. I'll have to wear it one day. <laughs> okay, FFF262 for the little amazonite charms. Okay, and then we have FFF263, you can dump those in, and that is the uh, moon shape with the um, either 18 karat gold electroplated, um, yeah, 30. 18 karat gold electroplated, so yeah, there we go with it. Martha, you're right, it is a very trendy shape. But the, um, the little moon. The moon are trendy? Yeah. yeah, I like them. Maybe, I don't know what, maybe it's this that's. Maybe. It's you this. You started the sound up on Yeah, it. is it this side for sound? Yeah. I'm just going to turn that down. It's driving me crazy. As long as everyone can still hear. Can we still hear? Yeah, I hope so. I'm just going to plunk those in there. Yep. Okay. Hopefully it still works. Um, yeah, I have worn it before, Diane. It looks ridiculous, but you know, <laughs> it's fun. These are some of my favorite. I um, Do we ship offshore? Where do you mean um, offshore? Depends on where you are, but we do ship internationally for sure. Um, this is FFF264, and these are a beautiful little drop, and this is a 6 by 7 millimeter faceted black onyx drop. So these are like the perfect little, just a, a little dangle. It's hard to show you because my big paws there. There we go. It still doesn't even show up very no, well. Just hold it in the bowl up top, up close. Yeah, there we go. So they're just a little 6 to 7 millimeter faceted black onyx, and these are $4.50. Super cute. I love those. All right. Next one we have is FFF265. And they're the same thing with the crystal quartz. And these are all, I think, gold plated. I think pretty sure most of them are the gold plating. So just a really nice little accent. Add this to a, a really fine chain like we showed you, that really tiny little chain. You've got the sweetest little um, necklace. Or you could hang these off of hoops or something and make a really fun pair of earrings. So, okay. That's FFF265. And you can find these all either on the um, What's New um, Tucson Treasures or on the um, What's New Beads, I think. And also you can find them under their own um, listing of um, the Littles. We have them under uh, Semi Precious Littles. So this is FFF266, and this is a faceted Appetite. And these are $4.50. Appetite is a very beautiful, beautiful stone. Super, super pretty. Look at how beautiful blue that is. Lovely, sort of dark teal. Mm -hmm. We need to take off the... Take this down. Yeah, it covers too much. All right. These ones are very precious. Oh, yes, those are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is FFF267, and they are a 6 to 7 millimeter faceted sunstone. Look at how pretty that is. 
That is just so lovely. And each one looks a little different than the next. Like they're not, you can tell that they're natural stones because they're not all like perfectly perfect. Like that one. Yeah, like just so beautiful. So that's FFF267 and they're $4.50. Okay. Um, has everyone noticed that my spelling has been impeccable today? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I copy and pasted everything. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Yeah. So if there's a mistake, it's on the boss's end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, FFF268. These are a little faceted rose quartz drop. Look at that. So pretty. Now, it looks honestly to me like chalcedony, but um, I think it is rose quartz. I almost have like a purple undertone. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. So I'm not sure, but I think it, I'm pretty sure it is rose quartz. You know, sometimes it's mysteries. Okay. Thanks, Diane. Oh, do you hear that? Oh my goodness. Me. Yeah, she's doing a good job. She gets a gold star today. All right, we have uh, a dog hair there. FFF269, here's the uh, faceted Russian Amazonite with the gold. Super pretty color. Love that. So there's a couple different kinds of amazonite you can get, and, and these ones tend to be the, the Russian amazonite. But I like that. Very, very pretty. FFF269. We're trying to just sort of fly through these because, you know, otherwise we'll be here till next next Wednesday. Yeah. All right, and this is actual turquoise. This is FFF270. I think it's the Hubei turquoise, and this has the rhodium plating on it. And this is only $4.50. Super good deal for actual turquoise. So I was pretty, pretty happy about that. Kirsten gave you an A plus plus. I know. <laughs> I've never gotten an A plus before. <laughs> All right. These ones are fun. That's this one. Oh, I love these. So these are a little different. I gotta get the little thing here. These are FFF 271 and they're an eight to 10 millimeter irregular round freshwater pearl charm with electric, or sorry. 18 karat gold electroplating for 650. So now what they've done on these is they've actually taken pearls that have holes in them. They put a fancy little um, head pin through it and then created a um, electroplated um, bezel on the top. So they look very charm, like a charm, but they're all natural pearls. And you can see some of them are round, some of them are a little more irregular, um, but they're super pretty. And they're only 650 for a natural pearl, lovely quality. Okay, we're getting there. I think this one is my favorite. Uh, one of them, because I love Moonstone. This is FFF272, and these are a 14 by 5 millimeter Moonstone spike charm with a rhodium electroplating for 750. And we don't have very many of them. We only have seven of them. And that is Moonstone, which is always a beautiful stone. I love it. No, I know which one is my favorite. The one that we couldn't figure out what it was what to call it so we called it a, that yeah oh, yeah it, that yeah. one we called it a sparkle because it looks like the little sparkle emoji yeah it, it is a little sparkle yeah. emoji all right fff273 these are a nine by eight millimeter oval faceted tiger eye charm with electric jeez i keep saying that 18 karat gold electroplating on there and they're seven dollars <laughs> oh, after you talk this long sometimes the the lips stop working these are really really nice very beautiful quality really love those Okay, we still have to do um, a couple more things here too, don't we? We've got to yeah. do a project and uh, a Give couple away. of some giveaways. These are so pretty. FFF274, these are a 10 millimeter oval Amazonite charm with the 18 karat gold electroplate for $7. So they they run oval side to side. Look how sweet those are. Absolutely beautiful. Love those. Are the moon yes everything's sold by the each yes i think these next ones are my favorite those are yours from the littles yeah oh yeah they're very pretty they're bright and they're, they're pink the ruby that i had last week <laughs> sold out immediately um bargain bougie bags <laughs> that's great <laughs> fff275 10 millimeter round faceted ruby charms with e with the 18 karat gold electroplate and they're seven dollars so this is actual ruby so beautiful they're really we had those uh, Ruby connectors last week and they sold out right away. Yeah. So super, super nice. FFF275 on that one. And this one is FFF270. 
276 and it's a 14 by 9 a twisted pear faceted amazonite charm with the 18 karat gold electroplate for seven dollars so they have like a a little sort of i mean if i hold it this way you can maybe tell it's, they're like a little bit of a twist in them but they're kind of very unique oh yeah they do right they so do it's kind of it's it's just the way they've been um uh cut kind of unique I, I love the way that they show though they're really beautiful and for seven dollars that's a super good deal so someone is asking if they are two-sided yeah these are all double-sided yeah yeah so like they're all you know double-sided um oh that one actually has a little extra jump ring on there <laughs> never know what you're gonna get all right is that the last one this is it these are the sparkles okay so we oh, these are beautiful uh, FFF 277 and they're a 14 millimeter sparkle faceted moonstone charm with the gold electroplating for 750 and this is all we have we only have nine of them and the, these just look like the little emoji that you get um, that we use a lot on things it looks like a little sparkle so that's why we call them that but look at how lovely those are with the because they do have a lot of flash on them lovely oh my insides are just <laughs> growling like crazy oh my goodness Okay, so that is it. You can pop yourself up for a minute while I get organized. Yes, oh. the ruby charms are double-sided. Yeah, all these um, singles are all double-sided. Double yeah. yeah, yeah. We would generally show you um, if it's only single-sided, like on one of these ones that I'm going to be using today uh, for my project. It's uh, got the on one side, and then we always show the back because we, we never want to misrepresent. Do you want to pop yourself up for a minute? Well, pop my face up. I need to have like a... 45 second break break here. <laughs> Cam, are you still watching? Was Cam watching? Yeah, he was watching on Instagram. Oh, that's nice. I'm wondering. My son. My husband and her son. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, should we do the giveaway now or do you think it might be too risky? Um, because sometimes the program kind of screws up when we do it. I think we should. Do the okay. Hang around because we Wait, do so have we do have um, a giveaway. And if you're just joining us, um, take a few minutes to watch back at the beginning of the um, presentation because we are asking something from everybody. And uh, so you can actually so instead of me repeating myself and us being here for that much longer, um, uh, you can listen to what we were asking for, and then you can chime in and you can maybe win a prize. All right. So um, I'm just going to get set up. So if you want to jabber, <laughs> Kelly's spectacular surprise. That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a uh, spring break here. So I'm trying to keep the kid busy. She keeps begging to go swimming, and oh, she loves to swim. She loves swimming. She's quite good at it. And we went and got her new soccer cleats yesterday, and so she's really excited because they're hot highlighter pink. Um, <clears throat> she showed up to the soccer store wearing. A hot pink um, shirt, pink shorts, white sparkly sneakers, and right now she has bright purple synthetic braids. And so it just was fitting that she had a very bright cleats. Yes, she's a very <laughs> colorful child. She just got glasses for the first time. She did. And she's oh, so, so cute. Sweet. There's like a pink pair and a sort of a blue, and they're they're like see through, and then they have little blue or pink flowers. Just and they're so almost cute. a cat eye. Yeah, they're very cute on her too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She's so excited about them. But yeah, really, really sweet. Yeah. So, all right. Um, so I'm just going to explain what this is. <clears throat> so I have a very sweet friend and her name's Georgia. And she owns the most fabulous bead store in New Orleans called The Bead Place. If you are ever in New Orleans, you have to stop into Georgia's store. It is like nothing I've ever seen before. I've been in her store and it is amazing. Now, George is very, very creative, and she comes up with all kinds of um, really super cool ideas. And I contacted her yesterday, and I said, I absolutely love what you're doing. And she's like, go for it. Have some fun with it. So she is doing this thing with, that she's calling a charm bar. We're not going to do it in the store. I'm just going to show you what she is creating um, so that you, too, can create something like this. If you're in New Orleans, if you plan on going there, make sure you stop by and look at her charm bar. Holly's going to be there. So, as well. are you? Well, make sure you stop in and say hi. Ask if George is there and say hi from Kelly. Um, she has this whole, like, whole area of her store that's got thousands and thousands of charms. And so, she's got a couple different things. You can go, there's a QR code <coughs> at the beginning of her store where you can actually make an appointment. You can go in there 
and you can create your own charm necklace or charm bracelet or you can pick out the charms and she will create it for you. So if you're not a jewelry maker, she will do it for you. She goes off to campuses and sorority houses and she does like all kinds of in-person things. Charm parties. Charm parties. It's an amazing thing because charm necklaces are hot right now and she's making them even hotter. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. We're going to use some of our chain and some of our new charms and I'm going to show you sort of like what she does and I'm going to show you how you can incorporate things where maybe it might have made you go hmm, I don't know how to do that so we'll put the um, camera down and I'll show you what I'm using so big shout out to Georgia because um, this is completely her idea I should have sent you those pictures the ones that I had so you could go on to the bead place onto uh, Facebook and you can um, see some of her beautiful stuff what's her store called again the bead place the bead place okay yeah I think it is Janet Hawk is having trouble finding her on Google Maps. Um, can you go on to um, Google yourself? I'm just going to make sure I'm calling it the, is it the bead place or is it the bead shop? Um, the beads, just um, bead store. Bead shop? In, um, bead, just type, do bead, bead store in New Orleans and, I'll, and then I'll tell you. Because I might have given her the wrong name and I apologize if I did that. Um, yeah, it's called the bead shop. Yes, yes it's it the bead is. shop and it's right on Magazine Street. It's 4612 Magazine Street. Mm -hmm. And did I call her the bead place? It's yeah, the beach. I apologize, Georgia. I am a bad friend. Um, it's the bead shop. I have another friend, Abby, who has the bead place, so I get them confused sometimes. Um, but it, she is she's awesome. She has wonderful staff. They're really creative. And it was her mom's store, and so it's been around for a long time. And Georgia has been running it for years and years and years. And now she owns it, and so it's been around forever. And they have a lot of stuff. Like there is stuff hanging from the ceiling in there. There's so much. So we're going to create a fun little um, charm sort of necklace here today. So we're going to use some of that, um, what did we say this was CH? 806. 806. And I chose this because you can actually open these links and it's going to make this whole process a little easier. So I have a big length here and then we'll kind of figure out what length we need. I have a, um, a, a lobster clasp and I've got just one head pin because I'm going to create a little charm with one of our beads. And I've got a closed ring for the uh, lobster clasp to go into at the end. And then I've got some jump rings should I need them. And then I have an assortment of charms here. So I just kind of, you know, what I, what I noticed by looking at what she was creating is that basically people are just using what they love. And it doesn't have to be anything in particular. So they don't have to match in color. They don't have to have a theme. She has like um, charms that have initials and all kinds of stuff. It's like almost along the lines of like Pandora kind of but the charm bracelets but very different and much more affordable yes <laughs> yeah so what I'm going to do here I'm going to take this chain and I'm going to sort of find my center which is this one right here so that one right there now on this one I am going to have to hang it using a jump ring because is that going to show up yeah because I of the way that this is a, a flat ring here so I'm going to just take one of these jump rings or what I can do I actually um took a fair amount of this chain, I can hear that repeater, it's driving me bonkers. Um, I took a little bit extra chain so that I could open this up. So you, there, here's another option of something that you can do. I'm just going to take one off the end, run that through my charm, and then go through the middle. That's so smart. I would have never thought to do that. <laughs> well, I, that's why I love this chain, because now it looks like it's part of the chain, where it's actually, mm -hmm. see that? So I like doing that. Um, so now I'm going to start um, adding the other things here. So I want to make sure that I'm watching where my links are going. So I think, so there I can sort of see all of them. So my next one is going to go, what do you think, Savannah? Like, yeah. like there? I, I'm personally, I like them a little closer together, but that's right personal, there. Yeah. There, that's so, just personal preference. so that's three over and that's three over, you know, and the good thing is that you can always um, change them. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to have to do this in, a, in two different ways because of the way that these are situated. So you can see on this term, the uh, loop goes this way. So if I put a jump ring in, it's going to go the wrong way. And that's why I like to use this kind of chain. So I am going to open this link up. So I'm going to get my chain those pliers and I gotta make sure I can see the where's the cut no it's the other way pop that up there so I'm trying to do this and keep it on camera and 
that going to work? I think Maybe. so. I think so. <laughs> I think I have to think this out. I'm going to put that in that way. It may not work. I may have to like rethink it. You know, sometimes you have to, in my brain when I'm doing things, I'm like, okay, that'll work. But I may have to rethink it. I might have that on there backwards. I think you have it on backwards. Yeah, I think I do. Trying to when you're trying to do things on on camera and keep it all going the right direction. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I feel so bad that I said it, her name of her store the wrong way. The bead shop. I've got a girlfriend there right now in um, New Orleans. I was going to tell her to go by. Okay, so now you see when I've attached that, it lays just nicely because it went into the um, it went into the chain. Is that is that the right way? So let's see. I just got to make sure that. Okay, that one's flat. I gotta make sure that I'm going in the right. Now, see, it's upside down. It's not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I don't think it's gonna matter. No. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about all those little things. You know, I, technically, I should probably be making sure that it's exactly the way I want it. But you know, I can sit here. You, some of these things you have to fiddle with a little bit to get them going the right way. Now, this one has a jump ring that is not um, something that you can open. So I'm going to, or can you? No, or maybe maybe you can. My poor old eyes. I'm like, I don't know if I can see that. I'll try and open that up. Yeah, that. Well, it's t a terrible jump ring on there. It's what came with the. So I'm going to cut that off because I don't like using jump rings that don't hold. And I'm going to use one of our better jump rings, which is are these little uh, four millimeter 18 gauge jump rings. I love those because they're nice and sturdy. So get a good grip on them and give it a little twist. And then I'm going to run that through, um, let's see, one, where did we say? One, two, three, right there. So you can see how easy this is and how customizable it would be. You know, it's also a good stash buster if you've got like a whole, you know, stash of beads at home. Or if you're a grandma, you could have your grandkids initials. Yeah, look at how cute this is starting to That's look. really cute. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay, now up on this side, I'm going to actually take a bead and I'm going to run my head pin through it. I'm just going to place my um, pliers on top and I'm going to bend away and I'm going to create a little loop. Now, normally I would attach it right directly to, but because I want to have the flexibility of um, movement, if I decide I want to move this around, I'm actually going to just wrap this up and then attach it with a jump ring so that... Um, I think jump rings are your best friend on something like this. What's also kind of cool is when you have a jump ring, you can like add two and reuse and yeah. remove one and add switch it with another one. So Yeah, like let's say I did this and then I went, oh, I don't really like that thing on there at all. Well, I don't have to cut the head pin out. I just take the jump ring off. Mm -hmm. And um, there we go. So now I'm just going to attach that. So you can, you know, just take one of your beads. We showed this one last week, I believe. Um, we have sold it through a lot of them. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, and I'm going to go about, I don't know, three up there or something like that. I'll just dangle it here. I don't think you have to be perfect on them and have them like exactly um, in a certain, certain, you know, like measuring. I think it's fine just wherever they land. So Betty said that um hand bracelets were really popular as a travel souvenir a long time ago yes i had one um i think i still have it in my memory box somewhere i had a sterling silver one and every time i traveled yeah. i bought another thing or my grandparents would buy me linda something. said she has one from 50 years ago oh yeah mine would probably be like That's close so to cool. 60 years old now all right and i have this little succulent charm um that i need to open up this jump ring a little bit more to get that on there so i'm just like i just picked some things that i liked and that's how i came to the decision of what i was going to put on here i'm like well what do that's i want to put like yeah i know i'm just trying to figure out where i'm going to put this um yeah so i'm going to put that there so anything that you like you know so this is just a modern day um modern day kind of thing and then next to that one, I'm going to put, I think that's got like a little, does that have a decent one? That one's not too bad. There's a little, little jump ring. I'll see if I can open up that one. I'm just, I love those little flowers. I do too. So we showed these ones a couple weeks ago. And then let's see, one, two, just trying to get these. There we go. 
So one of the things that I was, uh, uh, when I was sort of running through what I was, how I was going to do this, I said to Savannah, I would think that the best place to have your charms starting would be around the nape of your neck, like or like the side of your neck. You don't want them behind your neck. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're thinking about where to start, you may want to measure yourself. So if you're making this for a little girl or something, you may want to tighten this up a little bit and not have quite so much of a gap. And this may not even sit nicely on me. So I'm just showing you what it's going to look like now. And you may have to, you know, rethink the whole um, you know, measurement in between. Try to get those. There we go. Um, this is just a little star that I have. And then I'm going to turn this over because I'm right-handed. So I want to have my lobster clasp on my, my right side. So just to make life easy, I'm going to use a jump ring on the end. You can maybe get that through the end, but I don't want to fight with that. So I'll just use a lobster clasp and a jump ring and attach that. Now, if you were, um, this is going to probably be too long because I, um, I think this is going to be way too long. I never even thought about it. Hang on one sec. I'm just going to try it. Is that going to be way too long? No, no? I wouldn't go into okay. it actually. All right. Um, so I would probably like, you know, about 18 inches is about where I would go. You wouldn't necessarily want this short, but now the younger girls might want to wear it shorter. I don't know. Everybody has their own comfort. Tessa would wear it as a choker. Yeah, she would. Oh gosh, I can't get my... <laughs> Come on, there we go. Get that to work. And so I'm just adding another jump ring. Now you don't even need to do that because this is a big enough um, uh, loop, but I think when you're creating necklaces, it looks nice to have a, a start and a finish. And I think by ending this like this, it gives it a really nice finish. You know that you've got like two nice ends versus just using the chain there as your end. So if you wanna turn that yep. around, I think it might be too big, but we'll just, Put it on there. Yeah, I, yeah, I go a little shorter. A little bit shorter, but, but I mean, no. See how cute those are? That's adorable. Yeah. And you could add fun. so many more charms too. Yeah. So Maybe super fun. Time. Thank you, Georgia, for such a fabulous idea and for letting me um, talk about how wonderful you are and your store is and your creativity just abounds. Um, but if you've got a, like a bunch of things kicking around and you want to create something fun. Uh, Try this. It's the like the newest, latest, greatest thing. And yeah. if you are in New Orleans, please stop into uh, the bee shop and uh, say hi from Kelly because uh, she's there a lot and she's absolutely lovely and wittier than heck. <laughs> she cracks me up. Um, so yeah, so she's been super busy because they just had uh, Mardi Gras and uh, she actually didn't even get to meet, meet me up in uh, Tucson this year because uh, they had Mardi Gras going on and it kind of coincided with Tucson. So I didn't get to see her this year, which is a bummer. So I guess I might have to go to New Orleans. That might be my you next You might trip. need a Sherpa. Yeah, <laughs> she keeps trying to hang around. She assumed that when I said I was going to the Czech Republic, uh, that, I didn't assume that, that meant I she gets to go. I just gave a gentle nudge that you might need someone to clear the bags. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the tickets are very expensive. Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Whew, that was a lot of stuff. Um, we've gone way over what we normally do, but okay, so um, let's do three. Oh yes, we've got to do some giveaways. Yeah. Okay, so these are just like something little, but we want we haven't done any giveaways in a while. So do you want to pop up the word? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, or how, which way do you do it first? Well, I'm trying to think about that because we haven't done it for a while. Okay, can everyone just hold off? Yeah, just hang on Don't for a sec. Don't type the word yet until I say go. Okay, because we haven't done this for for a while, and we have to remember what we're doing. Don't do anything yet. And okay. go. And go. So now <laughs> type in the word spring. Yes. And we're going to do uh, three draws. Yeah, three draws. So <clears throat> we're going to just keep picking people's names. Mm -hmm. uh, the chain number is CH806. Yeah, and we have it in like about five or six different colors, I think. And um, it's still, we're still live on Instagram. They said that they would cut us off after an hour, but we're still live. Um, I'm, our computer for Instagram is quite far away, so I can't see the name of the person who's been asking you questions. Um, if you have not uh, signed up for our emails, um, you if you there. do, you will get a code for 10% off, 20%, sorry, 20% off of one purchase. It doesn't need to be your first purchase. You can save it for a bigger purchase, yeah. um, but just make sure you sign up for those. Plus, we send out uh, weekly emails telling everyone about sales and things happening. Yeah.
Well, thank you for the people that are joining us for Instagram on Instagram. This is a newer thing that um, StreamYard has allowed us to do. And so we don't really know how it works. We can't even go back and view it, which kind of stinks. Mm -hmm. It's it's they haven't made it super user friendly, which is not my favorite thing. But um, we are we're trying. So no, it is C H eight zero six. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You want to yeah. draw the first one? Da, da, da. All right, we're going to see who wins something on the first one. I mean, do you want to put up the customer service thing? So I'm, can... I'm nervous. To... Okay, I'm not going to do that yet. Okay. Yes. Martha Bates. Martha Bates is the first winner of our um, one draw. Um, we have three things that we're going to give away. Okay. And then we're going to do it again. So if you haven't typed spring, type spring now. But if you've already typed it, just you don't need to type it again. Yeah. Because um, it will still work on this. So just we'll draw again. We're going to go. We're going to go again. We're going to draw, draw again. Number two. Yeah. And it wasn't from here, so that's nice. Yeah, which is really good because it's a miracle. Amanda Hogan has won something too. All right. I really like the confetti. Yeah, the confetti is pretty fun. It's a nice little. Yeah. Nice well, little congratulations, thing. Amanda. Okay, and we're going to do one last draw. So if you want to get your uh, spring comment in. Yeah, if you haven't typed in the word spring, quickly type it because we're going to draw again in uh, three, two, one. And this is the last draw that we have for today. It's always fun, like waiting to see who's going to win. It makes me anxious. Gum Nut Lane Jewelry has won. I think won. she's in Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. So what we have just is a little piece of jewelry for you that um, has been made in a previous project that we're going to send off to you. So you can either, you know, keep it, disassemble it, give it away, sell, you know, sell it, do whatever you want. It's just we we are deep in the spring cleaning mode right now. And we're coming up with all these things. And the girls brought them to me yesterday. And I said, I'm going to give them away tomorrow. So if you can send us your uh, mailing address at customer service at kellysbeadboutique.com and just let us know that you won uh, on today's thing, we will pop these in the mail. If you place an order, you can just put it in the comments and just say, hey, I won, um, I won one of the gifts and we will pop it in your um, order. Mm -hmm. So thanks yes. to everybody for playing and congratulations to the winners. And I really appreciate everybody that showed up again and everybody that shows up every week. We, um, we do appreciate it. And uh, we're going to have lots of fun. So make sure that you put your creative thinking cap on and help us come up with a name for our fun new thing that we're going to have ongoing. Um, it's going to be our magical mystery bead tour or whatever we're going to call yeah. it. <laughs> so if you don't know what we're talking about, watch us back uh, after we um, save this and you can maybe put in some. Yeah, I think whatever. we'll probably pick within the next few days. Yeah, we'll give everyone some time yeah. to rock their brains because our brains are tired yeah and then <laughs> and then watch for next week we'll probably make it live for next week and then um yeah so yeah. all right so you guys have yourself a fabulous week enjoy spring because we're now in spring or i guess if you're in australia you're going into winter right or Something. summer fall they'd be fall there i don't know yeah <laughs> it's always confusing because they're opposite to us so yeah. i don't know what that means but i don't even know if they have a fall I don't know. Some no places fall. just have summer and winter. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, I don't know. So it's Inquiry kind of minds want to know. Spring. Spring. Okay, <laughs> well, there you go. So you guys have yourself a great day. Uh, go off and make some uh, fabulous jewelry, and we will see you in a week. All right? Take bye -bye. care, everybody.